All right there, people. This is Brad the Lab back again with another video. I hope I find you all well. And this is my Chelsea versus Manchester United preview. Obviously, we had the positive news that Ralph Ragnick is set to become our new boss. Obviously, there's uh, negotiations with uh, Lokotov, uh, Lokomotiv Moscow. Um, the club he's currently working for as a um, technical director. I, I don't know if that's the that's the role he has. But... Um, is Sunday's game a free hit for us? It's Carrick's one and only Premier League game in charge. Obviously, we did win in the week away to Villarreal. And I'm sure the players will be eager to impress the new manager. Um, and he's been talking about Manchester United before. A couple of years ago, he said he wasn't overly keen on Luke Shaw. Um he didn't say that in the in the exact words, but you know he doesn't think he's um, he's uh, quite the player for the the club um, of a size of Manchester United. So um, yeah, I don't know. Will he be at Stamford Bridge? Will he be at the game? I don't know. I, I hope maybe we can get it done tomorrow and he can be there and watch the game. And I think that will give the players extra motivation. We're up against a very very fierce animal in Thomas Tuchel's Chelsea in this game um, you know I predicted that we could get something in the week but I'm probably going to change my mind now um, you know I'm not trying to be negative or anything you know I'm just trying to be realistic overall um, I actually said we'd get a draw in like the week and put some Instagram predictions up and um, I said one all but I think I'm going to change that but we'll Maybe we'll we'll find out what will happen this weekend. Um, I'm going to be on the live stream later on Tyler's live stream, so please uh, let me know what your thoughts are on that. There will be a stream tomorrow at 3 o'clock and a stream tomorrow at uh, 2 o'clock as well. We're going to be doing... There's about four 2 o'clock games, so um, that should be interesting. Um, I don't know if my fellow... My fellow mates will be there, um, you know, helping me out, uh, watching games for me. But we'll we'll find out what happens. Anyway, um, going into this game against Chelsea, it's a four thirty kickoff. We've we haven't played on a Sunday for a while, and the last time we played on a Sunday was when we lost to Liverpool five nil. And the last time, and the referee this weekend is Anthony Taylor. And funnily enough, he refereed that 5-0 defeat to Liverpool. So I'm like, oh my God. You know. Um, so I don't know if that's just a coincidence or if it's uh, something that's going to repeat. I don't know. With Chelsea's quality, it could easily repeat. I mean, the full-backs, I mean, the wing-backs, Chilwell and James are so deadly. You know, and I think, you know, can Wan-Bissaka turn into, you know... The Manchester Derby one, Basaka, you know the one, you know the one where he like absolutely puts Raheem Sterling in his pocket. I don't know. I think I'm hoping it could be one of those games we can get a point. You know, I'd I'd be content if we don't get battered. You know, if we don't get severely beaten. You know, like um, like we we were to Liverpool and like. Chelsea did to Norwich, you know. It's um it is a deadly game. Obviously we have got quality and I think it, we are capable of getting a result. Um I don't know if Michael Carrick's lifted any confidence. I don't know if he's changed anything. Obviously the style of play is very very similar, but we just got a different result in the week. And um I'm hoping Ralph Ragnick could be there and I feel, uh, and I hope the players will feel the pressure of been wanting to impress him. And, um, you know, be involved in that Arsenal game for his first game as his interim, in his interim spell. Um, but it's going to be a very, very tricky game. I think, you know, Chelsea have tons of quality. I think they are going to win the Premier League. They look absolutely phenomenal. Uh, they beat Juventus 4-0 the other night. I know Juventus are crap, but to still beat a club at the size of Juventus 4-0, you know, so easily... 
it is very, very damn impressive. So don't take anything away from Chelsea from that perspective. They are the champions of Europe. They are a very, very difficult opponent uh, to be facing. Um, yeah. Um, in the week, I remember finding out that Anthony Taylor was our referee and I know that Chelsea don't like him. I was, I was feeling a bit like... I was kind of like laughing, like not thinking that we're going to win the game, but like that Chelsea fans would be a bit annoyed at that. You know, I actually don't mind Chelsea fans. They are quite, you know, I don't think, I think, you know, they're probably like the least toxic group of fans, I'd say, in my opinion. But, um, but yeah, that's my overall thoughts. We're we'll probably going to get absolutely annihilated and get three players sent off or something like that now. But, um, no, I... I'm hoping that it's we don't get annihilated. I'm hoping for a performance, hoping for a good result. I can't see it happening, but you never know. This is the Premier League. Anything is is possible in this division. You know we've we've seen it before. Um, a lot of the time, you know. I think um, obviously, I think last season Chelsea lost five two at home to West Brom. I know they had ten men, but I'd still expect him to win it. You know, um, Man City losing to Palace. You know that was a that was a big shock. So I don't know. On our day, we can turn up and we can go to go to grounds and get results. Um, you know, we we have been to Chelsea before and we've got some good recent results. Um, we've kept. I think we've kept. I don't think we've lost. At Stamford Bridge since November twenty seventeen, I believe, um, in the Premier League. So I believe that is good, and we've kept uh, we've got a good defensive record there. I don't think we're going to keep a clean sheet this weekend. I don't think De Gea can bail us out this week. Um, but yeah, is it a free hit? Maybe it is. You know, um, although we would love to win the game. And, um, you know, but I'm sure the players will be wanting to impress Ralph Ragnick. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please remember to leave a like, subscribe and comment below. Um, what are your score predictions going into Sunday's game? Hopefully the outcome this weekend is a positive one. And I'll be doing a happier review this week than I was doing uh, the Watford game last weekend. See you all in a bit.